Certain heart surgeries are changing at Munson Medical Center with the help of a robot. Yeah, the two hands of a doctor are now able to operate with four hands and a camera. It's making recovery much easier for some patients. Michelle Dunaway introduces us to a woman who went through it in this MedWatch report. Ronnie Williams won't soon forget the day her heart took her down. And I collapsed on the floor. I couldn't breathe. I was having a hard time. I was just full of sweat. A few hours later, doctors determined what the problem was. A torn valve and a heart murmur. I was in the hospital for three days. But that wasn't going to be her only hospital stay. Doctors needed to fix her valve, something Ronnie wasn't ready to hear. And honestly, when he got to the point of saying that he would have to deflate my lung and stop my heart, uh, I didn't know anything from there on. But what she would later learn is that her doctor at Munson Medical Center, cardiothoracic surgeon Bobby Kong, is the only physician in northern Michigan doing heart surgery with the help of the Da Vinci robot. They have these small arms that are only like two, three centimeter in size, much smaller than my, my hands. Um, then you can make smaller incision and insert these small arm inside the, the body cavity and then put this robotic lens camera inside the body and you can see inside very well. The Da Vinci was originally designed for heart surgery, but Dr. Kong says it wasn't perfect when the technology came out. This heart surgery turned out to be one of the most challenging operation for the robot to do. Instead of that, it, it succeeded and excelled in like prostate surgery, GYN surgery, and, uh, and also general surgery, you know, hernia repair and things like that. But today, after a lot of time and training, the robot is now succeeding in making many heart surgeries a lot less invasive. The incision is a lot more cosmetic, for one thing, and it's smaller, and uh, the, the risk of wood infection would be less, and the pain would be less too. And because the the trauma to the, to the body is less. Recovery for those patients are also a little bit faster. Recovery was great. I was out of the hospital in five days. I took my pain med for three days, and I was fine. Today, Ronnie is a non-smoker. She's back to work and enjoying the important things in life. I take care of my grandson while Mama works, so I spent a lot of time with him and the family, and it, it, it scared me. It really did, because you didn't know. You never know when this is going to happen, and I take every day, you know, not for granted, but I, I do whatever I can every day to be happy. For MedWatch, I'm Michelle Dunaway.